Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. Thanks for coming. Today's tutorial is going to be on tricking autofocus to do what you want it to do. We're going to do this frame here, put text to design around the outside border of this frame. We stick it in the computer or in the printer to go. The autofocus is going to come in this area here and try to autofocus. Um, when it does, this is considerably lower than this. So if it does out of focus here and you go ahead and tell it to go ahead, this stuff up here is going to be out of focus. A couple ways in which you can do it. I always keep some scrap wood laying around. Lay a scrap piece of wood in there. Get it over the edge that you need. And right here, this is pretty flat. You can watch where the laser light goes. Slide this in the way. And tell it to autofocus again. Get a look up here. Uh, set its depth according to this. And then when it goes to print, it will print on the edge, which is the same height as this, and it will be a perfect focus. Uh, if this gap wasn't so large, we could just set a piece of white paper on top of it. The light would hit the paper, say that's the distance, and then go do it. The only problem with a large surface like this, if you don't have something of the right height and you stick these paper in there, it'll sag a little bit in the middle, so it won't get as grip in it. And that's one trick. Okay, here's another example of how we have to trick the laser. Um, when I do the engraving on these plates, for whatever reason, for whatever it is, um, and you go to have it um, auto focus on it, a lot of times it'll go in these holes, and try to auto focus, and since that doesn't, these holes don't lay flat on the ground, on the print bed, um, they'll shine in here and go through the grate, and either maybe not auto focus or they'll hit something, um, and it'll be way out of focus. The easy way to fix that, get yourself a piece of painter's tape. Go across the back. Put it back down on the grate. And then have it do it again. Um, there's maybe a millimeter difference. Not enough to make any uh, big deal on it. As you can see, it still prints plain. Okay, here's another example of when you have to trick autofocus. Uh, you've got all these pieces on your work bed and you tell it to autofocus on it. Nine times out of ten that laser is going to come over and try to do it off of your image. So the easiest way to correct that is before you tell it to autofocus, take a piece of paper. The, the gap here is not too big between the pieces, so you don't have to worry about the piece of paper sagging. Sit on top of it, tell it to autofocus, and come over, get the paper, come back, run back to back, pull the piece of paper off. And doing it that way, you have not moved any of your images or any of these pieces here, so they're all starting to be lined up. It's in focus, you hit print, and go ahead and go. Okay, and the final example is you have one single piece out there, and you try to run the autofocus on it, it hits just off the edge, one way or the other. Um, the easiest way to do it, makes I keep scrap pieces of wood laying around. Put scrap pieces on one side that are just as high as the piece. Scrap on the other side that's just as high as the piece. And once you got that, there's no big gaps in there, so a piece of paper will be fine. Go ahead and do your autofocus on it. Once the autofocus is done, you pull the piece of paper away. When you pull the piece of paper away, it doesn't move anything. This piece is going to still be in the same spot. Uh, you go ahead and Alright, just 
a note about autofocus. Uh, whenever you have your, your material laid out, you've got your graphics and computer sitting on top of whatever it is. Everything looks lined up and everything looks like it's ready to go. And you hit autofocus. Um, don't just hit autofocus, let it do its thing, and then hit start. Hit autofocus, let it do its thing. When it stops, check your image alignment again. When you did your calibration on the camera, it did a lower, it did a middle, and it did an upper. Uh, just because it's a panoramic camera and it has to go out in so, many, so much area. So when it's at the bottom, it, say it's focusing on this kind of area. It raises up, the bigger. So it's not precise all the way across the board. When you hit autofocus, you, you, your, your material, when you do it, is it high? The, the bed's at high. When you hit autofocus, it comes down and it gets to where it needs to be, and it autofocuses on your image. But it went from the high calibration to the middle calibration or the lower calibration. So your picture has actually changed. After the autofocus is the most, usually the most accurate in positioning of your pieces because it's when the laser head is the closest to your parts. So, like I say, do the autofocus and then recheck alignment before you hit start. I hope that makes sense, but that's just the way it is. If you have questions, comments, or anything, let me know. Comment, like, share, and follow. Help me out a lot. Along with all these other videos that I've done, I hope it helps you too.